Okay, so this kid called David has set up this game. He's got a six-sided dice. I know the singular should really be die, but they've used dice. I'm not going to fight it. This is a math paper, not an English paper. Six-sided dice, five-sided spinner. Both are fair, so probability of rolling any one of the six numbers with the dice is one in six. Probability of spinning any one of the numbers with a spinner is one in five. Okay. The, uh, to win five quid, you have to roll a five and spin a five. Okay, so you get one go, one roll of the dice and one roll of the spinner, one spin of the spinner. The and is important, as opposed to or, that affects the maths, okay? And you win two quid if you roll a one or spin a one or roll a one and spin a one, both. Okay, Dave's getting 30 of his mates to play, each are paying a quid. What is David's expected profit? David. Dave. He's definitely a cockney, this kid. He set up this game. He's trying to rope his players in. He's trying to make a bit of money. Roll up, roll up for David. Dave's amazing dice and spin again. Ducking and diving, little cockney Dave. Okay, is he going to make any money? Well, it turns out his expected profit is positive. He should make a little bit, but let's see. So how do we do this? Let's start by working out the probability of winning five pounds. So we'll focus on the spinner because that's easier. We'll do this first and then we'll do that one. So probability of winning five pounds with one roll. So the probability of win five pounds with your go. Every player gets one go, okay? And one go is roll the dice and spin the spinner. So probability of winning five pounds in one go is, okay, we've got to roll a five and spin a five. What's the probability of rolling a five with the dice? Pretty simple, it's one in six. So fair dice, six sides, as you know, probability of rolling a number, the six sided dice, it's fair, it's one in six, okay? So, it's one in six, <clears throat> rolling a five. Now, and, and means multiply. Probability of something happening and something else happening is the probability of the first thing times probability of the second thing, okay? And means multiply. So what's the probability of spinning a five? Well, probability of spinning any one of the numbers is one in five because it's a five-sided spinner. So probability of spinning a five is one in five. Okay? And that's it. That's a probability of rolling a five and the probability of spinning a five. So one in six times one in five is one in 30. Okay, good. Right, now let's work out the probability of winning two quid. <clears throat> this is more complicated. This is only question three on the question paper, okay? The first two were quite easy. This one is a fair bit more challenging, okay? Exam technique. If you hit a difficult question and you're not sure how to do it, skip it and go on to the next one, okay? Don't do the questions in order, in numerical order. Do them in order of difficulty. Get the easy ones out of the way first and then move on to the more difficult ones at the end of the exam. Okay, so probability of winning two pounds with one go. Right. What's the probability of rolling a one? Well, it's simple, same thing, it's one in six, okay? Or spinning a one. Well, spinning one, it's gonna be one in five. Or both. Hmm, what does that mean? Well, that means probability of rolling a one and spinning a one. See, what they mean here, probability of rolling a one, you have to work out yourself that what they actually mean is the probability of rolling a one 
and not spinning a one in the same go, okay? So probability of rolling a one and not spinning a one, okay? And what they mean here is spinning a one and not rolling a one, okay? And both, what they mean is probability of spinning a one and rolling a one. Okay, so you've got to figure that out to, to get started, to get this question right. And now we can do it. The probability of winning two pounds with one go is that probability or that probability or that probability, okay? So, let's start with this. What's a probability of rolling a one and not spinning a one? Probability of rolling a one is one in six. And, like we talked about, that means times, rolling one and not spinning a one. Not, not spinning a one means spinning a two, three, a four, or a five. And the probability of that is four out of five. Okay? So that, okay, is that. Probability of rolling a one and not spinning a one. Okay. Or, or means add. Okay? And means times, or means add. So the probability of something happening or something else happening is the probability of that first thing plus the probability of the second thing. Okay, right. So, spinning a one. Spinning a one is one in five. And means times. Not rolling a one means rolling a two, three, four, five, or six. So that's five sixths on the dice. Okay? So that whole thing there is, is that. Or both, spinning a one and rolling a one. Okay, spinning a one is one in five and rolling a one one in six. I know it's confusing. With and, you have to multiply. And implies, you'd think with and, it means add, right? But with probabilities, it just doesn't, okay? Or means add, and and means multiply, okay? So, that is it. That is the probability of winning two pounds with one go. Okay, can you see why this question is a bit more challenging than it looks initially? Right, so let's work it out. So, I'm gonna leave 30 on the bottom, okay? I know we could simplify this to like a third times two fifths, which would be two fifteenths, but let's just leave it as 30 on the bottom. So six and five is 30. So it's four thirtieths plus five on the top, five times six, 30 on the bottom, plus one thirtieth, okay? Which is four plus five is nine, so one is 10. So it's 10 thirtieths, okay? So with one go, when each of these 30 plays with their one chance, they have a one in 30 chance of winning five quid and a 10 in 30 chance of winning two quid. Right, now, still got a way to go. We have to work out his expected profit. So I would recommend you do this, building it up like so. Let's go back to the winning five quid, okay? 
We know that the probability of winning five quid with one go is one thirtieth. Okay, so what's the expected? David's expected loss. In other words, the player's expected win. So David's Dave's expected loss. Okay, for one go is, well, it's a 30th, because the probability is a 30th, and he stands to lose five pounds. Okay, so it's a 30th times five. Okay, that makes sense. So if it, I'll just go over that one more time. The player has one go and it, there's a 30th, a 1 in 30 chance of him winning five pounds. So there's a 1 in 30 chance of Dave losing five pounds, okay? Which means the expected value for one go that he loses is the 30th, the probability times the money, times five, okay? So, therefore, Dave's expected loss for the whole game for 30 goes, okay, is 30 of them. So it's 30 times a 30th times five. Okay, that's his expected loss for the whole game. Just for the five pounds. We'll do this one in a sec. So that comes out at five pounds. Okay, good. Now, same thing for this one. Dave's expected loss for one go. All right, this one was for the five pound win. This one is for the two pound win. His expected loss for one go is 10 thirtieths. Okay, it's the probability of it happening and if it happens, he loses two pounds. So that's his expected loss for one go. So therefore, Dave's expected loss for 30 goes is 30 times that. 30 lots of 10 thirtieths times two. Okay, which is 30 on top, 30 on bottom, 10 2 is 20 quid. Okay, so therefore Dave's total expected loss is 5 quid plus 20 quid which is 25 quid. That's his loss, remember. So finally, therefore, Dave's total expected uh, gain or win, winnings. You see, he's taken in 30 quid, right? 30 players each pay a quid. So he starts with 30 quid, that's his takings. So his total overall profit is his takings minus his loss. So that's 30 quid minus 25 quid, which is five quid. There you go. Right, so Dave, 
Mathematically speaking, he expects to make five pounds every time he runs his dodgy little game. Okay? That's it. His expected winnings, his expected profit is five quid. Good, right. But there's one last question for one mark at the end of this question. It said, why should Dave not why, why will he not make that in every time he runs this game? For one mark, well, that's the expected value and expected in the mathematical sense, okay? In reality, every time you run this game, 30 players, 30 goes, it, something different is going to happen. He's not going to make exactly five pounds every time he runs this game because that's a probability, right? Different things happen every time, in reality, every time you run something. And in one game, maybe he'd make 60 quid. I don't know, in another, no, that's impossible. He can't make more than 30. In one game, maybe nobody would win and he'd make 30, okay? In, in, in another game, maybe quite a few people would just happen on that particular game to win five quid and he'd actually beat a loss. He maybe he'd lose 50 quid. 30 quid takings, players win 50 quid so he makes a 20 quid loss. The point is that it's a probability, okay? And that's an expected in the mathematical sense. And for, there's only one mark, I'm probably saying too much, but just say in your exam that every time the game is run, something different would probably happen. And in the long run, if you run it thousands and thousands of times this game, he would, on average, he would, his, if you worked out his total amount that he made, divided by the total number of games, it would be probably get cl close to five quid. But if you, if, if you run it once, there's no way you can guarantee that, that he'll make exactly five quid. Okay, that'll do. So, there you go. That's it.